Or, perfect, guys. I am excited. I am lit. This weekend was, <laughs> for a lack of better words, just insane. It, it was so much more than I expected. And I'm just so happy and grateful that we were able to get it set up the way that we did. You know, I look at, um, you know, even with everything going on around in the world, just being a massive beacon of light for people and really being the solution that people need right now in their lives. You know, we had events in Chicago, we had events in uh, Miami, in Atlanta, in Dallas, in New York, in California, we had people in Puerto Rico, all over the place across Europe and Costa Rica, like everywhere right? People just coming together as one energy mass, really just looking to set a massive intention towards impact. And I'm just beyond grateful for this weekend. Um, honestly, I, I took a bunch of notes and I don't even think there's, there's so much to talk about that it's almost impossible to fit it into 50 minutes, but really just focusing on a, a couple things, guys, the next four days are going to be amazing. Right tonight, we're going to be going over the convention reflection and really what the next six months is going to be looking like. Tuesday, we're going to be talking about Rita, right? One of my favorite trainings from Alex Moore. And Wednesday, we have a topic called the Underground Railroad. And Thursday, we have a topic called the Quantum Leap. And, you know, we really put time and thought process into each and every single one of these trainings. Every little word has intent. Every little word has purpose. Every topic that we're talking about is going to lead you to the next step in this journey. And tonight is meant to be a reflection, right? I just look back in 2016 when I partnered with this company at the end of the year and being confused why we had conventions, being confused why I had to go fly to Dallas to go sit in a room when I could just do everything from go live or everything from a Zoom. At the time, I don't even know what we were using, go to webinar or something or <laughs> FaceTime. Who knows what we were using back in the day? It wasn't this good. And it, it's just so crazy. Back in the day, less than a thousand people. I think we had a million dollars in revenue in 2016. There was barely any educators. There was no corporate staff. It, it was pretty much just being done by Chris, Isis, Gerard, Jason, um, some of the first members in the business. But there was a vision. You know, there was a vision. And I think it's so amazing, even when the world is crumbling around us, quote unquote, right? I am still found a way to make its vision possible. Yeah, there wasn't 500,000 people in arena, but there's definitely 500,000 people that are about to experience the energy that happened over this past weekend. You know, one thing I really want to do um, is, you know, talk about, I just want to mostly hear from other people, right? I, let me see if Michael, actually, is John, who's on here? Let's go and do London. London, are you there? I want to hear from you first. Let's get London on this call. London, if you unmute your camera, or if I ask to unmute you and you unmute yourself, let me know. I actually didn't bring this up. London, you there? Yes, sir. I'm in the car actually on my way home. Perfect. On the perfect. road. Really quick, bro. <laughs> I didn't tell you we were going to do this, but how was Atlanta, right? How Ooh. was the Atlanta convention? How was the team? What, what did you see happen? What was the best part? Just tell me what's on your heart. I think it was a great experience. I think everybody, like, honestly, it was almost everyone's their first first convention for one. So, like, everybody loved it. Like, we received all the nuggets. Like, we ended up finding a perfect Airbnb with, like, that very nice setup so we all could, like, sit around and, you know, watch the convention. And then on top of that, honestly, my favorite part was not the convention itself, but we actually held a couple of events while we were out there in Atlanta, too, and the, and the guys actually held their first, like, big Atlanta event and I, I know that was a big you know paradigm shift for everyone out there as well so like it was just it was just all around a great experience I know everybody received a lot of nuggets and a lot of gems. I love it bro we got London on the track here I appreciate it my man I'm excited <laughs> to be back in Wisconsin I'm excited to do a uh, uh an event in Milwaukee we'll be chatting soon the next person I want to hear from is Hector bro where is Hector Hector you better be on this call Hector is lost I'm gonna ask you to unmute you flew out to Arizona bro you flew out to Arizona, did a P2 retreat with some crazy amounts of chairman, then flew out to Miami, had like a bunch of hurdles going on. Bro, tell me about your experience and just how, how, kind of how you pivoted over this past week. Um, and what were your breakthroughs just seven, eight, nine days in a row of just growth? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Tim? What's up, Q QC family? Um, I mean, yeah, it's been definitely a busy week. Monday, I flew into Arizona. So, you know, I was able to be with Darwin Lopez, chairman 200. He was in um, 
Common, Christopher Derrick, um, a whole bunch of other, you know, Chairman 25s, Chairwoman 10s as well. And not only that, but just being surrounded by, you know, a whole bunch of other Platinum 2000s and 5000s, I really got to see, you know, how it is that they ran their business and how it is that, you know, they're able to help other people out, right? Obviously, you know, we focus on on Trade House and the Sniper Corps, it's, it's really nice getting to see how it is that they were able to see massive success using other things as well. So that really opened up my eyes. Um, I took a lot of notes. I, um, you know, Darwin had to give me a whole nother notebook since I ran out of space in mine. And not only that, it's really just getting to see how Darwin lives, um, you know, firsthand. You know, he got us a party bus to go work out. And, you know, just the fact that he was able to, to afford that, right? And, you know, chef every single day, breakfast and lunch. That, and, you know, I was talking to him. And the, the thing that stuck with me the most is he said, you know what? This is how life should be like. So not really, not really wasting time thinking about what you're going to eat, what you're going to do throughout the day. But, you know, just having that. Yeah, having that income coming in for you to really just enjoy life and not be stressing things about that you shouldn't be stressing about. Um, so, you know, definitely get, getting to be with him for a whole week, that right there has me motivated a lot. And then, you know, obviously I went over to, to Florida. I, unfortunately, I got there till Saturday. But, you know, I'm really grateful for everyone that was able to be there, especially if it was your first time going outside of your, you know, your, your local area other people what i see with people is you know once you once you really go out and explore especially you network with other people you really start to grow within yourself and so you start you start understanding that you know it's not just you that's working towards something bigger but there's also you know thousands and thousands of people that are looking to achieve the exact same thing that you're looking to get right everyone's everyone's um definition of success is different you know that's completely you but understand that you know, if you ever feel like, like your motivation is kind of just going, down, you know, definitely just get out, even if even if you need to go and, you know, get yourself into debt, right? I never see it as, as debt, I see it more as investment. As long as you go, you network with people, you know, you're actually there, right? Not just there physically, but you're paying attention. I mean, you know, exactly your mindset. I mean, that right there is the most beautiful thing, you know, I was able to take um, three of the guys from here, from North Carolina, their first time ever leaving North Carolina. And so, you know, they got, they got to really experience something, something different, right? They came back home, you know, they're motivated and they got to see what it really is that we're doing here, you know, not just trading and making income passively, but, you know, go ahead and start building a business and start making that residual, right? to also impact other people's lives because at the end of the day, you know, we have a lot in our hands that can change someone else's life drastically. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of notes. <laughs> uh, Darwin Lopez, he is going to be doing a Platinum 2000 re every single month, the first week of every month. So definitely hit Platinum and, you know, go out there. Really just getting to experience, uh, you know, just being surrounded by env environments like that. It's really going to do a lot for you. I love it. I appreciate you, bro. The, the next one up, of course, is one of QC's favorite lady bosses. Taylor, y'all were traveling all week in Vegas and Dallas and Miami. I, I just want to hear from you. You you and Mike are always in a state of, of personal development. And so how was this weekend? How, how did this weekend shift your paradigm? Hey, everybody. Can, can everybody hear me good? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. What's good? Thank you, Tim, so much. And thank you for everybody for hopping on. Guys, this weekend was life-changing. Um, we, we've got to experience so much, just having the opportunity to travel and literally everywhere we go, we have family, we have I am, we have somebody that we can call and say, hey, we're in town. Um, that has been the best part about this too. Uh, we have been out of Dallas for two weeks now. We were in Vegas and then we flew straight to Miami. When we got to Miami, Michael and I got to host our first seminar um, with, you know, you guys know that we were in a Bob Proctor mentorship. So it was really cool that we got to step into another form of leadership because we got a whole, we had Johnny, we had Sheila, we had all, we had so many QC family members show up at that event. And it was just really awesome to, to experience that much, but that was just the start of the weekend, you know? Then we met up with Matt Rosa, we saw Emery, we saw Jason Brown, 
Jason and Christy Stone, Neno. It was so cool to just see all these people in person rather than Zoom and put yourself in that position to network with others, to network with other leaders. And of course, guys, I'm so excited about ECX. I'm excited to get my store set up and running. If you, if you got started, guys, go ahead and drop a 777 because that, is, that right there is going to be monumental. Just what this company is doing, it really, as if I already didn't know, you know, it put things into perspective for me because I really understand and value this company altogether. You know, people think that it's just that we trade and we teach people how to trade, but it's so, so much more. This is a huge scale that we're on. Like we were named number one with this. We're really educating people when it comes to, to finances and when it comes to entrepreneurship. So it really just raised my belief level in myself and it, it put so much pride and not, not in a bad way, it put so much pride in me to know that I'm a part of this, to know that I'm a part of this movement. And, you know, that was my experience. I got to network with so many people out of even in Dallas, you know, the walking ATMs and legacy and learn from other leaders. So my best advice to you guys is anytime we have a convention, anytime we have an event, please make an effort to be there in person because there's nothing like it. There's nothing like being surrounded by that energy in person. I love it. Thank you so much. And guys, by the way, I did not tell them they were speaking. These are real answers. And I think that's what I'm excited about. It's like off the top of your head, how do you feel right away? Right? How do you feel right away? And so hearing some of these answers is, is just amazing. So the next person I want to hear from the Cali squad, Alana, I'm going to unmute you. I know you guys got together. You shared meals together, watched the videos together. You know, what did that really show you? What did this weekend really show you? What, what was the collective vision um, as the group being able to watch and really just set the tone moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. This weekend was powerful, like just powerful, the energy. And I can still feel the energy on this call from everybody and all of the conventions going on. But to me, I think the thing that spoke the most was really culture and the power of what, what I felt this weekend was just profound because I've, I've been here for, you know, over a year and I've seen all the different cultures that have been built. And there's so many times where I know in California, like I've seen Chicago, I've seen Dallas, seen Miami, seen all these places all over and experienced them from time to time. But this weekend, I felt that truly I could say that everything that we had, the culture, the vibe that we had together just as a unit was like, I felt like I could tell everybody, yo, we got it. Yo, you should be here. Like y'all are over there. Like y'all should be here. <laughs> So I think the power of that was just insane. And I'm so excited. And just the relationships that were built are absolutely next level. So I'm grateful. I think that was my biggest takeaway was just, just really that having the vision and feeling each other's energy. Awesome. I appreciate you. And last but not least, you. we got someone representing Chicago, Mr. Armando Valencia. I'm gonna go ahead and unmute you, man. Armando, you've been doing this not even just I am this industry for a very long time, you've seen success in many different industries. You know, how was this event different for you in Chicago compared to, you know, when we're in Vegas or Dallas or Miami or Orlando or anywhere, you know, what, what did this weekend mean to you, especially seeing Chicago where we were two years ago to where we are today? It's insane, dude. Like the growth is phenomenal. Um, what was different for me on you know this convention versus any of the other ones is um, the the fact that there there wasn't the convention was virtual and so a lot of the stuff you know we're, we're so used to being on Zoom calls we're so used to looking at you know a screen but we're not used to being on a Zoom call together you know it's like we're all on Zoom calls and everybody's and you know in their own individual um, location and and this was different because when someone feels something and you hear a nugget like at your house you're like damn that was good but then it's like when everybody hears that same nugget and it's like the vibe is different which is awesome um and then what i really my biggest thing you know everybody talks about what i've been hearing is everybody talking about all these amazing leaders that they were around and I, you know what was my privilege is to be next to you bro like that 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 vibe that you create just by being yourself and the posture um that you give off uh, everybody just radiates off your energy. Um, you know, I was just kind of doing my best to mirror that. Um, so for me, it was, it was eye opening to see the, the level of leadership that I can put myself to, um, that I can raise myself to, 
uh, that was the major thing for me is really the number one, the culture when everybody gets together and is towards the same, you know, a definite purpose. Um, the mastermind, there's a lot of people, there's people that flew from Cali. We had two people from, from, flown from Cali. Um, we had some people, you know, Marcellus came out here uh, to experience that Chicago culture. It's kind of a privilege to, to be part of, um, you know, one of the, one of the people that kind of got everything to, 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 to build up, you know, I, Nancy takes most of the credit for that, but I was, you know, I feel good that I was there and kind of saw it build up. And it's awesome that people want to come and be around just the, the culture and the vibe because Chicago really has a lot of really powerful testimonies. And um, what was really cool to see too, and something that really kind of changed my perspective is my, my brother was there um, and he kind of got different testimonials from different people. By the way, he's making some super amazing content that you guys aren't even ready for. Um, and, and just hearing some of those testimonials from people, like just watching the clips that he got and, 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 and just the power that conventions and all really all just together, just like being in one place, you know, with the right, they say it all the time, right? At the right place, at the right time, with the right people doing the same, you know, doing the right things, I think is very, very powerful. Um, I think it's huge. A lot of people that didn't experience like the, uh, an actual convention experienced the vibe of the convention, right? The masterminds um, after the convention. I think it was cool to be around all the, all the different up and coming leaders and seeing them kind of step up. Um, and just the, 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 to be honest with you, I'm going to flex on the new space that we have access to, you know, cause now we have, you know, a space of 4,500 people that we can pack into. So that's the biggest thing that I'm excited about is now we have a place where we can fit 4,500 people in and throw a 4,500 person event. So just call up Matt Rose or Jason Brown, or, you know, just go big and call up Christopher Terry and uh, just tell him to come through to, to, to throw down at one of these spots. But I'm, I'm just so grateful, you know, that I was be, uh, that I was part of that. Um, another thing that I went through in here real quick is I saw, you know, other people doing other things. And there was something that Tim said, uh, you know, I was like, oh, so everybody went here to do this, to do that. And he said, don't think too far because you'll think too much. And I think that was so big because it comes down to what we have right now is so powerful that we think too far and what we're doing, what other people are doing. It's we start thinking too much. And it was cool to see that you know, other people that were in Miami or in Arizona or in California were like, look at what Chicago is doing. Um, and just building that culture and wanting to duplicate that culture was, was very powerful. Um, I'm super excited for, for the rest of the year and for what's coming in 2021. Amen. 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 Yeah. I feel like I could talk about uh, Chicago forever because obviously I was there and I got to experience so much, but uh, I, I, we, if you were there, you were there, you know, if you were in Miami, you were there, you were there, you know, if you were in Dallas, New York, Cali, wherever you are, you were there, you were there. And I think one of the biggest things about when you go to an event is you, you can talk about the information, right. That you learned, but if you weren't there, you'll, you'll, you'll never truly feel it. And it'll be hard to understand it because there's the bond, there's an emotion, there's an energy level that was, that was obtained in that moment, right. Over those course of X amount of days. And I, I don't think I could ever express, you know, how much I've learned, you know, this past weekend, it was stressful. It was different. You know, when you're brand new and you just show up to an event, you just sit there, take notes, you know, you're just learning, you know, I, you know, I was thinking about this. I was looking back. I'm like, damn, I remember when events were so easy. You know, I just got to buy a ticket and show up. <laughs> I don't got to handle nothing. I don't got to talk to nobody. I don't, I don't got to, you know, manage no, people. Real. <laughs> Big fat, like you're just chilling. And this weekend, I was like, oh, my God, I'm so stressed. I got I got stereo problems. I'm so glad. I'm so happy and grateful, you know, to see what Cash Cartier posted uh, yesterday on Instagram, right? Everyone, stereo issues, Wi-Fi issues, screen issues. But I, I think what excited me, you know, and made me felt so good was that was just a small hiccup, right? It, it was nothing in, in, in the big stream of where we were going and what we're doing and Honestly, without you guys, like, I don't think Mike and I can do a single thing that we're doing right now. I don't think alone we would ever be able to accomplish anything that that's ever been done. And it's the collective effort that makes these great accomplishments happen, right? You, you guys heard me in Chicago. We're going to put another five to 800 people in the next 30 to 45 days. QC has already added almost 40 people just in 24 hours. 
right? We're going from 1,400 to 2,500. That's not even double. I lie. We're going from 1,400 to 2,800. I had to correct my math. Like I said earlier, I'm not good at math. I'm not good at spelling, but you don't need either of those to make money, right? So QC to 2,800 people is already done. Guys, we had some of the biggest, annou biggest announcements, biggest promotions, biggest things that have ever happened in QC history. I mean, Floyd Money Mayweather, the number one most liquid athlete in the world has partnered with I Am Mastery Academy. Our mentor, Jason Brown, is privately mentoring him in cryptocurrencies one-on-one. -on -one. He has speaking arrangements that are being set up. Prepare for Houston in September. We'll talk about that, right? Bob Proctor, the Bob Proctor mentorship. We have people in our group, NQC, who have paid upwards of 20 thousand dollars to get Bob Proctor mentorship and I am made it possible to get that mentorship for $29.99 a month I mean I know people that pay 60 grand for one hour phone calls 12 times a year with Bob Proctor and we get him for $29 a month God, like I, I really can't tell you I, I had this conversation today I can't see I am five to ten years from now because every time I put a limit on where I am is going, they blow it out the water. Every time I'm like, oh yeah, in five years, this is where we're gonna be. Like, no, 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 no. I am doesn't have a limit. Bob Proctor said it yesterday, right? I am is on such a high frequency. I am is doing so much good for the world. And we can't limit where we're going in the moment we do We'll forget and we'll limit how um, how many amazing things can happen, right? So I'm going to go over a couple things. I know Mike's ready to get in here and go saucy. I can see Mike. He's just like, he's starting to twitch a little bit. He's ready to start talking. But I want to go over a couple things that you guys have messaged me about, um, a couple of the big things that you really should take notes on um, and, and really be looking back at and say, okay, these are things I have to plan for. Um, you know, maybe I was a little bit confused here. Now, now you feel good. But guys, the playback is going to be available in about eight to nine days. They have to put everything together. Um, they're getting all the language uh, language and all those things presented. If you purchase the ticket, the playback is free. If you don't have a ticket, well, you better hope that one of your friends had a ticket so you can watch that recording. Go back and watch Eric Ward. Go back and watch David Amitier. Go back and watch, go back and watch everyone. It's so crazy to me that everyone that spoke on that call was a millionaire. <laughs> and there were people speaking on that call that were like 20 years old. And then there was people on that call who've been in this industry for 20, 30, 40 years who are multimillionaires, right? And you have access to that. And all you paid was 20, what was it, $25? Blows my mind. Guys, number one, or number two, really, number two is I am Houston, right? September 10th to 12th of 2021. Now, some of you are like, man, that's like, I mean, 11 months away, right? Do not, do not, not think that far ahead. Do not, not think that far ahead. At the end of this call, I'm going to be really going over the next six months, but those six months are going to lead you into Houston. Where do you want to be in 11 months? What car are you going to be driving there? What kind of plane are you going to be taking? What seat on the plane are you going to be on? How many people are you bringing with you? How many people are walking across stage? What is your trading account going to be looking like? How many sales over the weekend are going to be coming into your e-commerce store? Right? Begin to think. Now, don't get stuck on the thought. Just know that that thought is a reality. Go back from where that end destination is and work your way backwards. Over the next 11 months, it, it's accomplished. It's done. Right. Number three, number three, uh, I am apparel. I'm going to drop this in here really quick. I am change.org. Um, guys, this website to me is so amazing. And I'm just so happy and grateful for this company. All, a lot of the proceeds that they get go towards human trafficking, go towards um, people in um, situations where they're just systematically not at the same level, going towards animal abuse. There's just so many things that I am is doing right? That we don't see behind the scenes. It's so exciting. Number four, the chairman retreat. Guys, I am has just recently purchased a, a chairman home retreat center where they're going to be able to fly out chairman and train them. And the first ever chairman home retreat 
where your hotel is booked, your flights are paid for, your meals are taken care of are happening in spring of 2021. So from today all the way to the end of January 21st, as long as you are a chairman rank, you qualify for chairman for full four Mondays, right? So for full four Mondays, it says chairman 10, chairman 10, chairman 10, chairman 10, right? Everything is taken care of. Everything is taken care of. Guys, in QC, we have about four to five chairmen right now. Not well, yeah, I guess I affirm that. <laughs> we have about four to five people that are about to smack chairman. Jordan is under 30 away. Honestly, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really real with you guys. I think Nancy's closer to chairman than she is P5, right? We got the prime trades leaders. We got John Adams and Rob. We have Jawan. Um, who else do we have from that group? That's a like. There's just a list of people that are about to break, and those are just a couple of the names. Each and every single one of you have an opportunity to be there. Number five, right? We launched ECX. So many of you have been blowing up the ECX chat finishing the 100 series, finishing the 200 series, taking your notes, hopping on the sessions. Guys, you're learning how to create an unlimited source of passive income for an extra $109 a month. I was thinking about that when I was driving today. I was like, damn, like ECX is true passive income. Like it, it's set up and then it's just cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. You, you get what I'm saying? It is a true passive income source with a minimal amount of work and a small investment you have a literally an unlimited amount of income that can be created. Go check out that YouTube video. Go check out the e-commerce website. Uh, this is like the website that they have. It's super awesome. I'll drop that in the chat for y'all as well. Make sure you save that. Um, it, it, it's crazy. We'll go on all that another day. Um, Floyd Mayweather, we talked about that. Guys, I don't know if you have seen um, the IM Center dashboard, but it's been completely updated. It looks sick. Like, oh my God, if y'all could have seen 2016, 2017, I am back office. Holy shit. <laughs> it was bad. It was so, so, so bad. It, it was awful, right? It, it was awful, awful, awful. You know, it's so funny because we have to switch up, um, you know, you know, Nick, you saying that we have to switch up what we always say right now. We're now we're like, learn FTMO chairman, right? Now we have to start saying, learn FTMO ECX chairman. We're just going to be starting to add on, add on, add on, add on, add on different streams of income. Number eight, the Academy app has been updated. Go download that in your iTunes store. If you've never had it, well, that's probably my fault because I never promoted it, but it's amazing as well. And then the master mentor series that we talked about um, with Bob Proctor, guys, it, it really, really, really blows my mind how I can, those are just like eight, eight to nine things I just said. That doesn't include every little thing that happened between the three days, like between the three days. If you don't know what's in the back office, that means you haven't logged into the back office today. Nick, you need to go get in there. <laughs> Everyone get in your back office and go check it out. So guys, I'm going to pause there. Um, I just really wanted to talk about and hear from you guys, hear from you guys first off, and then just talk about a couple of the updates. But really, the sauce is about to come um, with the next person speaking. This person is currently out in Costa Rica launching a massive organization. I believe they might, they're like 20 deep already. Like they have next week loading about another 40 to 60 more members. Um, Costa Rica is about to be on the map if it is not already there. Um, you know, massive respect to Mike. Massive shout out to my business partner, guys. I, I can honestly say as much as much credit or as much respect or as much edification Mike gives me without Mike, an overwhelming majority of us are not here. I honestly do not think I'm here without this individual. This is someone that's not only building the business, preparing the trainings, doing it in English and in Spanish, traveling around the world, investing the money, taking care of his family, not only from a trading or residual point, legit taking care of his family, inches away from retiring with majority of <laughs> the list goes on guys the list really goes on in Chicago you heard me talk about it don't take for granted who's around you right because you can obsess and study the Jim Rohns the you know the Tony Robbins the Eric Warries the Bob Proctors but those next round of individuals are right next to you and Mike is one of those people where I will not limit to him to one title. I will not limit him to one industry because everything Mike touches turns to gold. And for me as a business partner, it's a blessing. But for you guys, it's one of those things where in the wise words of Marcellus, I don't know how this is only 175. So 
Mike, I'm gonna let you take over. Sorry, we went for so long. I bet you're like, you don't even need pre-workout right now. You're ready to go. So I'm gonna mute my phone <laughs> and have you go into it. Oh my God, I am lit up, guys. I feel incredible right now. Um, just, just this recap, I feel like I just got smacked in the face a couple times with the convention again with this recap. Um, I feel like Tim just sent me the energy from Chicago, from Miami, from California, from Dallas, from Puerto Rico, from Atlanta, right? From everywhere that this was happening, I just felt like I just got hit with a wave of it. Um, and I'll tell you what, uh, it was it was a big decision. It was it was it took a minute to decide how we were going to do this. Um, you know, every single ounce and every single cell in my body wanted to be in Chicago, uh, but I, I genuinely felt like it was time to pass the torch. Uh, and, and it was actually, it was a, it was, it was a blessing to be able to not be there, um, because of the leadership that's been developed, uh, because of the trust that we have in everyone here in the intentions and in, in, in how we do things and the level and the energy and focus and love we put into our people, um, and, uh, how everyone responds to the good, the bad, the ugly. Right. And so it's been amazing to, to see everything happen. Um, and, and I, I didn't really get to see anything until it was like 11 PM and I had Wi-Fi again. Uh, so it was really cool to kind of recap at the end of the night and be like, holy, everyone's just going next level. Um, looking back at where we were a year ago when, when there was about a hundred, a little bit, hundred and change of us in Dallas, right? Which was the moment that I feel like there was like a divine alignment with not just ourselves, but with, with the, the company, its vision, Bob Proctor. And going back to that moment, it was crazy to see how this is scaled. It was insane to see how we went from, you know, having a group of 100 in, in, in one city to having groups of 100 in like five, six, seven different cities and, and seeing different people really grow and develop. And, and some of you, last year was the first time you ever saw a convention. For some of you, I believe Nestor was like his first day in uh, the company again. And then to see a year later where everyone is and, and to, it, actually crazy because Funny thing is Nestor is now a six figure trainer and uh, a lot of things have happened here. So um, insane to see what's happened and insane to see how everyone's grown. And uh, guys, I want, I do not want you to take lightly what is happening right now. I really do not want you to take lightly what's happening right now. And the one thing I need every single person here to do is to remove the lid. I need you to blow off any limitations I need you to blow off any single doubt or fears on who you are and where you're going right now. I need you to make a commitment to annihilate whatever limiting capacity you have on your income source, whatever limiting capacity you believe you have with your, with your skill set, with the way you can communicate with people, with the way you can love, with the way you can share. Because what happened last year which was arguably one of the biggest lessons of my life was seeing what the universe had prepared for us, right? Seeing us go from P2000 to chairman 20 days after convention ended. Guys, P2000 to chairman 20 days after convention happened. I, I had, I had expectations that wouldn't have been it. Had I put a limit on our capacity, we would not have done that. So my question for everyone here is, have you blown off that lid yet? Have you absolutely eliminated any single doubt or fear that you have? Because if there's one thing that was resonating, that was echoing deep through not just the venues, not just the, 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 this, this camera, right? Not just through the virtual convention, but what was echoing through that feeling, that vibration everywhere was belief. It was belief. And so it, it's so insane. It's so insane to see what is currently happening, right? And the reason that we can take quantum leaps effortlessly is because all of this is already happening. We just have to get out of our own way. It's not that you're making anything happen. It's that it's actually already happening. We just have to get out of our own way. And so seeing what's about to happen, 
gives me, it brings me, it, it's, I had chills. I have chills right now. I got off a phone call with Matt Rosa um, a little bit ago. And <laughs> we were reviewing a little bit how things have progressed over the last few years. And, and even thinking back from the first time I did an event with him where we didn't really know each other. He just happened to be in Puerto Rico when we just happened to be throwing an event right? Guys, none of this is an accident. None of this that is happening right now is an accident. Now that you're aware of what you didn't know, of what you do know, we have to take massive action. This is the best part because this is where you see, right? This is where you see what you're really made out of. This is where you get to see, right? And this is where you get to feel what, what's been inside of you since day one, right? You get to see that, you get to feel that, you get to see it in front of you. And so the vision that we have here, it goes well beyond trading, goes well beyond, you know, building a store. It's not about that money. That's a consequence of what we're becoming every single day, right? Look at the alignment that this company has created. Look at the people that have attracted into, right, the foundation of what we do, Guys, I've seen the growth in Christopher Terry and it blows my mind. It, it blows my mind. For those of you that were at the convention with us in, in 2018 in Las Vegas, to, to the Chris Terry we saw communicate and bend water and, and right have vibration, he literally went Goku on everyone in the virtual. He literally took everyone's energy and you felt that dispersed, right? You felt that empowerment in that one moment. You felt that that touched your soul. To see that growth is, is beyond any expectations I could have had, but that's why there are no limitations in what we do. The fact that they added another income source to this, another way for people to develop, to tap into that. I love what Hector said because Hector mentioned just a little bit ago how Darwin exposed him to life, how life should be. This is how life should be. And the, remember guys, this is really important. And I'm gonna ask you this. And it, as we go into this, you, you have to make this decision. You have to become aware of this. And the, what you need to become aware of is this. Are you part of I am Mastery Academy or is I am Mastery Academy part of you? Because when I was aware of where I lied, that's when I made the decision because I was no longer held back by fear, by doubt, by limitations. Because if I am is a part of me, that means that I can be anything. And if I am you, and we're all really one, that means that we can create absolutely anything. And that's what we're doing, right? This goes beyond the income. This goes to the feeling people have when they remember that they're worth more, right? This goes to the feeling that people have where they find their self-worth again. This taps into that feeling you have where you can look in the mirror and be proud of what you see again. This goes to that feeling you get when you look at your parents and you no longer see struggle anymore. This goes to when you look at your kids and you know that they're good forever, right? This goes to that feeling that happens when you know that the entire world is there for you to experience and you are. Because it's not what you want that you will have. It's who you are. It's who you are, which is what you will receive. So what are we adopting as we go through to this, right? What level are we tapping into as we go forward in our career, in our life? What kind of empowerment are we giving people? Because guys, I'm not here to talk too much about the details 
because I don't care about the details. I'm tapped into something well beyond how. I'm tapped into something well beyond how. And do you want to know why? Do you guys want to know why and how? Because how does it matter? But it's because I don't do this for me. It's not for me. Once you go beyond yourself, what happens? There's no limits. Think about it. Once you go beyond yourself, there's no more limitations. Everything is happening. Everything is happening. I want you to look at the people in this world, the some of the people that are guiding you, the people in your corner, and I need you to audit that, right? Audit the energy around you as you're going through these next 52 days to conclude the year. We said it from the beginning, this year is anointed. Something going into 2020, we all kind of knew something, something definitely different was happening this year. No one could have expected it, but we're not here to do that. We're here to create. We're here to create. So there's no coincidence that we go by quantum creations because there's no physical explanation to what we do. There is no physical explanation to how we make people feel. There's no physical explanation to how people receive what they're willing to receive. There's no physical explanation for it. So we're not here to talk about how. We're here to know and to feel why we do what we do. So guys, I'm happy to say, I'm happy to say that there's, I can't give you what, where you're gonna be in a couple of days, in a couple of months, in a couple of years, because who am I to give you that kind of limitation? I'm not that person, you're that person, because you're the only one that can do that. So guys, here's what I wanna do. <clears throat> Normally I, I, I got a mic drop for y'all, but the reality is that it doesn't end right now. It starts. It starts right now. And so I'm going to have our very own legend, Tim Sloma, walk you through the next six months, not to tell you what to do, but to give you a guide, because that's all we're really here to do, to be a guide, to be a part of the success, to paint that new vision, to paint a new path. So at least you're aware that you can take that route. At least that you're aware, here's the action that you can take because here's the reality. Like Bob Proctor said it, if what you're doing hasn't worked so far, what we have has. So maybe you should take a listen to someone who's done it and someone, who, someone who's duplicated it and someone who's gonna continue to duplicate it. So Tim, walk us through the next six months, bro. Yeah, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I was getting really nervous. I was like, Mike's about to end this call with a freaking bomb drop and <laughs> everyone's going to miss out in the next six months. And I'm going to be like, oh, no, we're going to have to do this again. Resign out the link. But I'm excited, guys. As as Mike has said, I, I think there's just been – it's quantum leaps. There, there's, no, there's no explanation why we are who we are. We just are. And we're just going to continue to do it. And I'm really, really excited. So, guys, over the next four days, we will have this call. Right at the same time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Each and every single night is going to be a call that's going to lead us into the next week, which is going to lead us into the next six months. And you know, I did a, I went to a P150 um, bonfire Friday night, and some of you have heard me say this, and the excitement that each of you experienced was the answer I was looking for. Not because it, there was hype, but because a puzzle piece was put together, right? A shade was opened up. And sometimes I think we limit our vision because we can't see far enough. And what I really want 
the next thing I'm gonna talk about is to be that light that shows you the path what the next six months are going to look like, right? Do not limit yourself to today, tonight, or tomorrow, but what we're going to get done over the next six, 12, 18 months. One thing I learned from Jason Brown and Matt Rosa is to always know what you are doing six months ahead. 2020, Mike and I planned out every single week when we were in Punta Cana, we went 52 weeks down the row and planned out every single week where we were going to go, what we were going to do. Obviously, COVID shifted that. But when I go back and I looked at our notes, it's so funny to me that a lot of those topics a lot of the places we wanted to build, a lot of the leaders we wanted to see go next level, a lot of the ranks that we wanted to hit and we wanted to see in other people, it was accomplished. It was done because we wrote it down and sent the intention to make it happen. We wrote it down and set the intention to make it happen. And that's what I'm hoping is going to happen with you when I talk about what the next six months are going to look like. Guys, we are 52 days away from the third most important day that I talked about in all of quarter four. The first important day was October 1st. That was day one of 90. That was the day that you set the tone. You decided what would a perfect day look like and how can I duplicate that over a 90 day period? The second day was November 6th. We came, we showed, we conquered and we're doing it. The last day is December 31st. From this moment forward to December 31st, what you do now determines what happens on January 1st. We're 52 days away from the end of 2020. 52 days away from the end of 2020. And if you aren't currently where you wanted to be on January 1st, where you said at this point in time, this is what's going to be done. And I am so happy and grateful now for it. This is the moment to accomplish it. We have convention momentum. Volume is going to rise by four figures minimum every single day for the next 52 days. And, and, and don't give me the line, Tim, but December is so slow. No, it's not. There's only really, there's three holidays you celebrate. And then there's 27 other days in the month. So if you're going to lot three days, stop you from 27, you're tripping already. So understand that there's 52 days for you to make massive impact and take advantage of the momentum that's there for you. Momentum is not always there. But when you have it and you let off the gas pedal, it's very hard to get back. And let me tell you why quarter four is so important for quarter one. In quarter four, right, is the highest acquisition of customers in all of network marketing. Quarter one is the highest acquisition of distributors. So what are people going to be doing? Even if they don't get started now, what are people thinking about when January 1st hits? New year, new me. I, I want to launch a business. I want to create an alternative source of income. I, I want to read more personal development. I want to what? Become better. So even if they say no now, your consistency is going to lead them to say yes. So January 1st to February 28th is new year, new me momentum. March 1st to April 30th, not only is when tax refunds come back, so people are going to want to learn how to invest their money, but we have March Madness. We have March Madness. And we saw what happened after New York with March Madness. I also heard from a little birdie, we're going to have a, a little QC convention being set up, right? So make sure you journal that in. I don't know where, I don't know with who, but I know what's happening. Right? Right after April 30th, what do we have? The chairman retreat. Guys, uh, I don't know if I've told you this. I've told this to the Spanish team. I've told this to a few out in Chicago. But the chairman retreat, where, where do you guys think it's going to be? Drop in the chat. I see some people already typing it. Right? Where do you guys think the chairman retreat is going to be in May? Utakana, Bali. We got a couple of Balis. Hawaii. A lot of people seconding that. Mexico. Well, goddamn, y'all are right. It's going to be in Mexico. Every single chairman in I am will be in Mexico in May. And what's special about this chairman retreat is this isn't an I am chairman retreat. This is a chairman retreat that's hosted by Jason and Matt. And they have put aside, right? They have put aside one million dollar investment for this chairman retreat they are planning so far ahead they already have a team 
they already have a team working on the specifics, the hotels, the, the resorts, the activities, the guest speakers. They're already working six months in advance for a chairman retreat. As of right now with the chairmans they have, it's a quarter million dollar event. But how many from, how many from QC are we bringing? Because all I know is there's going to be a thousand chairmen and I am. Are you going to be one of them? And, and then here's what happens after May. We have the momentum going into summer. And you guys know what happens in September? The Houston Convention. Do you know where you're going and why? Everything is laid out for us. It's just whether we put our foot on the gas and move forward. Guys, there's going to be some people on this call that go all in, right? And they will be there. And there will be others in May that will look at the photos and telegram and regret that they never made that decision to go next level. So guys, I appreciate you. I'm grateful for each and every single one of you. These next four days are going to be absolutely amazing. Tomorrow we will announce why we are doing this chairman boot camp and what's to happen in the week after. And I want to also give a massive shout out because guys, if you are available right now at 8 p.m. Central Time, go to the next call that we're having. Jose Carlos is someone that has been working consistently on himself to pour into other people. This, these boys to men training are insane. And it's not just for boys, right? It's not just for men, it's for everyone. And every single day for the past three weeks, he has ran a morning wake up call. But I don't think anyone can say every single day they've been there. But every single day he sends out that link. Every single day he gives volume. And he, here's what I really challenge you guys to. Every single day, these calls get bigger. Because there's 123 people on here now, right? But at the end of the week, there should be at least 321. So guys, contact your teams. Get them this recording. Get them on the call tomorrow. And let's go all in. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. This recording will be up soon. Sheesh. Who's ready to go, Chairman?